After his formal education, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. returned to Ebenezer Baptist Church in 1960 to serve as co-pastor with his father, then known in the community as Daddy King. MLK served as pastor here until his death in 1968. Martin Luther King Jr.'s childhood home is located here at 501 Auburn Avenue in the historic district known as Sweet Auburn. MLK's grandparents purchased the home in 1909 and his grandpa pastored the Ebenezer Baptist Church about a block away. In 1926, MLK's father and mother moved into this house where he was born on January 15th, 1929. His father, Martin Luther King Sr., took over as the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church during Junior's childhood, and the King family lived here until 1941. As a reverend's son, Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in church. From ages three to six, one of his best friends was a white boy whose father owned a store across the street. Now, these houses across the street from MLK's childhood home are known as shotgun houses. They've been restored and maintained as part of the historical park district. A shotgun house is a narrow rectangle-shaped house about 12 feet wide with rooms arranged one behind the other. The doors were lined up from front to back to allow airflow in hot, humid climates. These were the most popular style of house in poor southern neighborhoods from the end of the Civil War in 1865 all the way to the 1920s. They are also known as shotgun shacks or shotgun huts. When MLK started going to school at the age of six, he was sent to the all-black school in town and separated from his friend. Their friendship began to break apart until one day his friend's father demanded they no longer play together at all. MLK would later write that this was a formative experience in his life. We were at the dinner table when the situation was discussed, and here for the first time I was made aware of the existence of a race problem. I had never been conscious of it before, as my parents discussed some of the tragedies that had resulted from this problem and some of the insults they themselves had confronted on account of it. I was greatly shocked. From that moment on, I was determined to hate every white person. My parents would always tell me that I should not hate the white man, but that it was my duty as a Christian to love him. The question arose in my mind, how could I love a race of people who hated me and who had been responsible for breaking me up with one of my childhood friends? This was a great question in my mind for a number of years. MLK's childhood years in Atlanta reinforced the reality of segregation and injustice. He later wrote, I saw that you could be treated unfairly just because of the color of your skin. This is the recently restored Ebenezer Baptist Church. Throughout its long history, this church has been the spiritual home to many citizens of the Sweet Auburn community. Martin Luther King Jr. was baptized here as a child and watched his father minister here for many years. When he was 19, MLK gave his first sermon here and was ordained a minister. After his formal education, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. returned to Ebenezer Baptist Church in 1960 to serve as co-pastor with his father, then known in the community as Daddy King. MLK served as pastor here until his death in 1968. 